I'm Paul Ehrlich, and I teach biology at Stanford, uh, which is a little north of here, but one of the great benefits at Stanford is that we have the University of California system. We're making a big attempt uh, to start a conversation that informs people about such things, that modifies our educational system uh, so that people don't graduate without knowing how the world works. And that effort is called the MOB, the Millennium Assessment of Human Behavior, M-A-H-B. And we mobsters are trying to get full cooperation between people in the social sciences, people in the humanities, natural scientists, and people at different universities and decision makers and eventually the general public to ask big questions like, what are people for? What are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? What do we want? What do we have to do to keep our civilization together? Those are the really big questions. And people in the social sciences know quite a bit about how to change human behavior that people in the natural sciences don't know. Uh, there's a, a classic example, for instance, of uh, work done by uh, Professor Bob Cialdini at the University of Arizona, who tested a very simple thing. Uh, many of you have stayed in hotels, and you know in your bathroom there's a little sign hung which says, if I can find an example of it, save the environment, reuse your towel. And what Bob did was he conned a hotel uh, into allowing him to put these in some rooms, in some bathrooms, and not in others, and found out that the sign made not the slightest difference. That is, people in the rooms with the sign uh, didn't use their towels over again any more than people in the rooms without the sign. If, however, he hung a sign that said, most people who come to this hotel reuse their towels, then maybe 20% more in the rooms with the sign reuse their towel. If he put a sign up that said, people who use room 322 almost always reuse their towels, then they got 80% reuse. And this is called provincial norms. It means that people care more about uh, uh, what other people do than most people had thought. And in fact, they've done exactly the same experiment with smart meters and energy savings in homes. And it turns out that if your neighbors do it, it's much more important to you than if you save money, which is a, a fairly impressive thing and actually gives you some clues about how we might change the insane behavior uh, we have in our society now, for example, of continuing to use fossil fuels when they know we know they're killing us. Uh, so there's a lot that can be done. The mob is working hard. Uh, if it works, then we may have a chance of preventing a collapse of civilization. If it doesn't, if we don't change our ways, then I can absolutely guarantee you our ways will be changed for us.